Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video where we will cover a very interesting topic. As you might know on Aviva Edge and in the Web Studio, uh, you can add communication drivers. We have several drivers uh, compatible with several devices. But for instance, if you want to add a driver here, let's say C add, you have only uh, one instance of the driver available so you can add a driver and that's it. If you want to add a new instance, you might search for C it again and it, would, it won't be in the list. Uh, the problem uh, with C it, for instance, is that C it supports only up to eight connections for, uh, or, or eight PLC online only. Uh, uh, if you want to have nine or more, you need to create more instances of the CA driver, but there is no way here on the graphics interface to do that. So I will show you today how you can do that. So let's say that we have added our CA driver. What we need to do now is go to the folder where uh, Aviva Edge or Indusoft Web Studio is installed. So let's go to the folder where it is installed. On my case, I have it here. This is the path for Indusoft Web Studio 2020. You might want to search it, but for your version of the product, maybe 8.1, or if you are using Aviva Edge, maybe Aviva and Aviva Edge. So uh, that's uh, what you need to find first. Uh, after that, after finding the installation folder, you need to go inside. And here you have uh, some, some folders. The important folder for this demonstration is the DRB folder, which means drivers. Inside this DRB folder, uh, we have all the communications uh, driver uh, libraries. Uh, including the C at one. So each driver is composed by four files. Uh, the driver uh, binaries, uh, the binary itself, the driver configuration file, the driver error messages, uh, definition file, and the driver uh, manual. So we need to duplicate, or duplicate all this. Uh, so let's copy this and paste them in the same folder. After doing that, we will have a new set of C -it drivers, which are is called C -it copy. You can uh, press directly F2 in order to change the name for this. I, I can call it C -it 2. And all the files will be C -it 2 now. Uh, there is a very important thing when you change the name of the new instance. You need to use a drive uh, as name, uh, a name that con that has the exactly same number of characters than the original uh, driver name. So, for instance, here on C8 we have five characters for the C8 name. So, for the instance, we need to use also uh, we need to use five characters to define the new instance name. That's very important. If you use less or more uh, characters, the driver won't work. That's why it's very, very important to consider this um, requirement in order to create new duplicate instances. So let's create a new instance, a new additional instance. So copy and paste again. So we can rename the new driver to C at three, let's say. And we can do it maybe one more time. C at four, or I can call it C A four. It might be, no, oh, sorry, I, my mistake. I need to change the name to five characters. C A A four, for instance. Five characters for all this. And here, on the IDE, what I can do is go to the drivers uh, uh, at remove uh, dialog again, and I can search for my CA 
a four driver and I can add it and I can find also my C at two and I can add it and C at three and I can add it two. So now I have four instances of the C at driver, which is the same driver, but each instance will allow me to add eight PLCs per instance. So I have the main driver sheet for all these drivers and this will work individually as uh, different drivers. So if I, for instance, let's see that I start one time. You will see that uh, four instances of the driver or four drivers were initialized, like it, were, it will be uh, different drivers, but are the same driver however, are different instances of the same driver. So that's it. Uh, I hope this video is useful for you. Very quick, you can create several instances of a driver, by the way, on 8.1 uh, newer versions of VivaEdge and in the Web Studio, you can create an unlimited number of drivers, an unlimited driver, a number of uh, instances of a driver too. So that's a very, very uh, big advantage. If you have, for instance, a uh, communications protocol that it's uh, related or requires uh, uh, serial ports to uh, link with the device. So you can use one serial port per uh, driver instance. You have several ports on your computer. You need to create as mandatory as uh, several instances of the same driver. So I hope this helps. If you have any question or any comment, please leave that in the comment section below.